Have you ever heard about the largest office building in the world? Do you know where is it? If you would like to know, stay tuned. You're watching Stripping Architecture News edition for October 2023. World's new largest office building has been finally born. Guess what? It's not filled with only office workers, it's also filled with diamond. Anyway, India has broke all records by building the new diamond trading complex with a surface of 650,000 square meters. It's bigger than the Pentagon office, which has held the title of the world's largest office building for 80 years. The question is, which country is going to build bigger office building in the coming years in order to break the Indian records and get the OBC title? we mean office building championship. The Justice Palace in Brussels, this time is real, we promise you. After waiting 40 years, the restoration works for the Justice Palace facades has officially begun. First phase is expected to last two years before fully restoring the front facade of the giant building. Finally, tourists will be able to pick pretty selfie photos with the palace. Experts are wondering about the future vision for the function of the giant building beside the justice function. Apparently, so far, nothing has been decided yet about the renovation of the inside, neither the future function. Transformation of Brussels North District from mono to multifunctional is ongoing. The building permit to transform the two famous Proximus Towers from offices to residential apartments has been introduced. Fun fact, the authorities has launched a classical public inquiry where the project plans and files can be consulted by the neighborhood residents. Which residents they mean? The entire district is occupied by offices. Literally, there are no local residents around. The question is, how relevant will be this inquiry to the project? Urban heat waves. According to a recent report from a local media, massive greenery of every street in Brussels can protect the city against heat waves. The report show clearly how Brussels public spaces, squares and streets are dominantly paved with clear lack of greenery and water elements. This of course generate an urban heat waves. What shall we do then? Unpave streets and squares as much as we can, plant more trees in public squares and streets, at the same time increase the surface of soil and grass. The bigger challenge will be the following how to substitute car parking spots in our streets and squares with more nature and greenery without pissing off the car-centric city structure and the lobby behind it. Well, it's up to you to decide. Now we leave you with the last segment, Ugly Houses from Belgium. Thanks again for watching this news. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment. Stay green and have a nice day.